So hello, everyone. We are going to talk about AI-ready microservice architecture today. Uh, my name is Ali Ok. I work for Red Hat. I'm a principal software engineer here. Uh, and I'm a Knative contributor. Hi, everyone. I'm Pierangelo. I'm an engineer at Red Hat. And I'm a Knative event in tech lead. So uh, for this talk, we actually want to talk about something that we think could be tangible. So we're going give to give you this example. So let's, give, uh, let's consider a brand detection use case where you would like to study your brand logo, for example, in images, in social media, for example. Uh, to, do, to do that, you need to be able to have, you need to have some kind of AI system to kind of recognize this logo in the images. In this talk, we are not going to talk about the uh, digestion of the images, as that's another topic, but more, we are gonna more uh, talk about the AI model serving part of things. So overall, in very high overview, this is a very simple, use case, you know, um, you have the browser or your client, which can, which could, you know, you can, you can manually upload images or you can have a client which uh, systematically, which, which automatically uploads images to a logo detection system. It looks very easy. And I'm not going into detail about the logo detection itself right now. Uh, but the issue here is you cannot really see what's going on in the logo detection system uh, because the AI systems that we use today are very opaque. You don't know how they make their decisions. So you need something. You need to evaluate their, uh, like how, how can you evaluate them? So for that, we thought you would start with storing the images and the predictions your system generated so that you can actually do some analysis later. So this is very simple use case. Again, you upload the image, logo detector stores your image in an object store because it's a binary image. It doesn't make sense to uh, store in the same database with the uh, prediction. Um, and then you also store the prediction, but again, yeah, in a separate database. The prediction is basically just structured text. Could be XML, could be JSON, uh, things like that. But here we have this issue that the, uh, your, your logo detector system is actually talking to two systems and these operations are not atomic, like uh, they're atomic individually, but not atomic as a whole. So the store image operation could fail, for example, and then you would end up in a prediction where you don't have the image. So this is like a very basic problem that we know from you know, resiliency topics um, okay, now we thought maybe we can actually add another level of feedback, so that we, uh, level of input, so that we can uh, do more analysis. And we thought maybe we can ask users to send feedback, like, like thumbs up, thumbs down, things like that. Um, and again, you need to store this in the database. And later on, with an analytics service, for example, you can... Uh, correlate all this information and show them in a dashboard. Again, the issue here is like there are always issues in this first part of the slides. Uh, and the issue here is that you have shared data stores. So you're actually um, affecting the core part of your system when you're doing your offline analysis. Obviously, you don't want to do that. So to kind of talk about a little bit more problems, uh, you probably noticed logo detector system, the system has uh, too many responsibilities. So it's talking to too many components, uh, too many other systems. And when you would like to ch uh, change it, you would like to add a new system, you need to change the code or the, 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 uh, the configuration within the system. And as I mentioned also, scale, we are scaling the database for two separate use cases. And now we'd like to talk to you about a better alternative, and Perangelo will do it. All right, so for 
like we saw a bunch of issues. So let's kind of recap what are the main use cases that we have in the system. So we, we need to be able to kind of detect the logos in like in the images that the user provides. Also like receive feedback from the user as well as eventually offline analysis for kind of correlate the predictions to the model version as well as the user feedback. Uh, so to do that, we kind of split each use case in different services and that helps us with, you know, adding more functionality without changing the existing services. And um, for each use case, we have a bunch of like one or plus one uh, or more services. And and for the first use case, which is like detecting lo uh, logo in uploaded images, we have uh, an upload service which just receives the image and stores uh, it in the object store and then the object store is like wired to an event broker which is the our mechanism to kind of uh, communicate with other services and so the logo detector is like the same service that we, we, we had earlier it's like just focused on detecting uh, the actual logo in into the images and what it does is basically receiving an event a notification from the object store through the event bus the event broker and is just responding with the new event. So it's publishing a new event um, which contains basically the bounding box of the image on where the logo is and also the confidence. Uh, we are going to talk about that later on. So we, we, need, to, we need some way to respond back to, to the client. And with asynchronous architecture, like, it's, it's like you need some way to kind of push the information to the user. And to do that, we, we have a new service, which is the reply service, which is connected to the user uh, client or browser with, you know, WebSocket or whatever other protocol can push, uh, like HTTP2, uh, and push the prediction to the user so that we can correlate the uploaded images to the prediction. And so with that, we have solved the first use case. And the goal with the other use cases is to add new services without modifying the existing ones. Um, so we did the second use case, which is receive feedback is, you know, we, we have another service, which is the feedback service is simple receiving feedback, thumbs up or thumbs down or like a score. And uh, what it does is basically publishing an event to the event broker. In this case, we have separated we have a separate event broker in this case, uh, and is, the event broker is going to store the feedback for us. And so with that, we solved the second use case. We are, we are able to receive feedback, and uh, we are not yet kind of storing that in a way that is like usable for offline analysis. And so with that, we are going to introduce a new service, which is like analytics service, which is our service that is aggregating the information from the predictions and as well as from the feedback and is storing them into a database, whatever database uh, we like. Um, and so with that, we solved the offline analysis of the user feedback. And so now we are gonna have a little demo of the, this system. This, uh, so I'm gonna pass it off to Holly. Thanks, Miranda. Um, so to do the demo, I'm gonna switch over to this Browser tab. Can you, how, how well can you see it? So uh, we in this demo, we just used Knative primitives, like brokers, channels, sources, and things like that, and Knative services, so that everything is scalable. All these little services that Perangelo introduced, they're all scalable, and we are using Knative eventing for delivering the event part. So that is why this is, we call this event delivery, uh, event driven architecture. Um, so this is a very simple application. It's, a, a, it's actually a bit silly because it, you just upload an image and it tells you if there is any, um, if there is any Knative uh, logo in it. Sorry about that. We need to find the good images that we'd like to uh, show to you, which we kind of missed. Yeah. They, were on the Mac. Huh? They, were on the Mac. they were on my Mac, and my, <laughs> my, my Mac doesn't work. 
Today is a final day because we had a. Yeah, okay. I'll tell you that story later. So, this first image is a very simple image. No, come on. Oops, now I can't find it. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> It was working five minutes ago, so we did something wrong. Is this the wrong URL, correct URL? Okay. Um, we don't have a backup for that. But anyway. <laughs> so, the, the, so the idea is that you upload an image and the system will give you some feedback. And based on that feedback, you're able to actually, um, uh, the, the system will also ask for user feedback. And with the user feedback, with the prediction and the image, you can collect all these information using a Knative broker in a single place where you can do the correlation and show some analysis like this is our model prediction, uh, so model confidence, these are the images that didn't really work well, etc. And then, um, and then you can make the decision of retraining your model. So here is what I was going to show here. Uh, and then, with a new model of the with the new version of the model, um, we were um, going to show that an image that fails was now, uh, is now working. So I think we should go to the takeaways. Okay. So the, the, the takeaways are like, um, the, the usually like the the AI model itself is like a fast moving target of your system. It's it's gonna need um, a ton of iterations and to kind of eventually get to the point where it's like um, working fine and, and kind of usable for the users to. Um, and so you you need an, an architecture that kind of supports that that can that fast moving evolution of the AI system and. We think that you know even driven architecture are like the the key to to that part. And uh, the other one is like Murphy's law. You know anything that can go wrong will go wrong, and you know the demo went wrong. Um, yeah, can see that. And so uh, the like the um, the operations. If you have operations that are not atomic, you need to think about them and think how how you can solve them in. Um, Obviously, like asynchronous, even driven architecture helps with that because you decouple the operations between different services and uh, the system is usually eventually consistent. And so, at the end of the day, there is like no silver bullet. Like, there's going to be like um, uh, advantages and disadvantages for each approach. And um, there is like the first option is always like you have high complexity in one single module, uh, as opposed to the, the other alternative, which the complexity is like spread out. Um, and we believe that usually like tools in the cloud native space are helping with, you know, with managing that uh, complexity into having multiple services um, and also the, the event-driven part as well, which is, you know, you have like more resilience with, you know, Handling retries of operations automatically without like having to code them uh, into the services. And so, with that, uh, I guess we yeah. have we have done the presentation. Um, we'll be around the Knative kiosk, and so if you have any questions. Um, uh, so this was actually the quick QR code for the demo that we would uh, ask you to also give it a try, but now that it's failing, yeah, there's no need to. 
Yeah, exactly. So uh, we will bring the demo live, and we will be we'll be around the kiosk. If you if you're interested, please come visit us, and <clears throat> we can then actually show you what we've built. Thank you very much. <laughs>